Greetings my dears in love and light, I'm Nikki Sutton. Five reasons why they disclose information in movies and TV series to program our thoughts. Now this is not to scare you, it's just to make you aware. And if we're aware, we can take some of our power back, can't we? Now what's coming up is some reasons why they disclose information in movies, plus some examples of movies where disclosure has happened. It's actually probably more like most of them. And it's not just disclosure, it's programming too. So whether you're into conspiracies or not, and I'm not keen on that term because it has negative connotations to it relating to madness, Hollywood is said to be well controlled by the secret societies. and. Directors have deals and instructions on what they should put in their movies. It's part of how they're allowed to be in their positions. There are certain things they have to do, disclose and program us with in movies and TV series. So they disclose in movies things that they want to implement in our reality. And they provide disinformation on things they don't want to implement in our reality. So one example just to begin with is that have you noticed that any movies involving extraterrestrials, the extraterrestrials are usually hostile or at least pretty unfriendly and difficult. So for example we have Oblivion, you can look up these movies if you like, War of the Worlds, the Alien movies and Independence Day to name just a few. Now why would they do that? It may be that there's an agenda there to get us to expect that aliens are unfriendly so that we are more easily controllable because there's a lot of fear there, fear of extraterrestrials. I'll give you one more example before we move on for now. Police states. There's many movies where there's a future where everything is controlled by some sort of police state such as Robocop and Hunger Games. Now why on earth would they want us to envisage a future where everything is controlled militarily or by a police state? So here are five reasons why they attempt to program us through movies and television series and I'll give more examples at the end. So number one is that it causes us to manifest what they want rather than what we want. If uh, possible futures are put out to us so that we can see what they would be like, then it's more likely we would imagine a future in this way. Some of these movies we wouldn't have had that frame of reference before, we wouldn't have imagined such horrors before, or that uh, reality, uh, life as a human being could even be that way. So by putting it out there, it enables us to imagine it and then to create it subconsciously. Number two on reasons why they disclose stuff in movies is because it causes us to accept what they want. So they put potential futures into movies and series and it causes us to accept this when it eventually comes along. It may be quite negative indeed, but we are not surprised. Because it was in a way predicted and we kind of expected it, we're more likely to accept it and even reluctantly accept it because it was just kind of on the cards. So number two was it causes us to accept these possible futures if and when they come along. Number three is that we will be desensitized to these concepts if and when they come along or are implemented. So for example, if in movies we observe people being microchipped, whether we like that idea or not, we are desensitized to the topic. We've seen it before and our subconscious mind has come to terms with it potentially being normal. It's something that's normal, we've heard about before, so our reaction is less uh, rejecting. So we are desensitized to sometimes controversial things because we've heard about them before. Number four on why they disclose stuff and program us in movies and series is that it gets them off the karmic hook because they told us about these things and we took no action. 
So even those in control of our society who are well aware of occult practices and spiritual concepts but in a darker way, they too are fully aware of karma and its implications. So they need to ensure that we are making choices based on our free will and that lets them off the karmic hook. If they are making us do things, that causes them to build up karmic attachment that they'll have to work off later. So by showing us potential futures, showing us potential technologies and other things they want to implement, it is within our consciousness, it's within the mass consciousness, we know about it and we took no action. Therefore, we are freely accepting what's coming. Now indeed, how are you supposed to take it seriously if it's just in a movie? That doesn't matter. The concepts are out there and we could have avoided them, but we think it's just fairy tales. We think it's just sci-fi, it's just imagination. So we just let it be, but that doesn't matter. We need to make sure that these futures don't happen and create our own. So number four is that it gets them off the karmic hook because they told us about it and we took no action. Number five on why they disclose stuff and program us in movies and series is that you'll look crazy when you tell someone about these things because they'll think you're a conspiracy theorist and think that you've just been watching too many movies. So it also helps to protect them in their actions implementing certain futures that they want because say if I watched a movie on AI integration into our society and get a bit worried about it such as in the Terminator movies and AI taking over the world or something the person I'm talking to might think why are they worrying because it's just from a movie these things are just in movies, she has been watching too much TV. So there's that aspect as well. We sound like a nutter or a crazy person when we think these things are actually going to come true because we've been watching too many movies. So just to give you some more examples of movies and series now that help to manifest a future that they want, I've already given you that aliens are hostile and implementing police states. But how about dystopian futures? For example, Blade Runner and Elysium. If we are able to picture a dystopian future where we are all controlled and pretty poor and it's not a very nice environment, then we're more likely to accept it and manifest it and submit to control and things like that. All of the five reasons I've already given. Another example is, as I touched upon, AI is taking over. So that's Terminator movies, Ex Machina, AI, that Steven Spielberg movie, uh, Battlestar Galactica, and 2001 Space Oddity. More examples. General example here is Star Trek, nanotechnology, and impulse and warp drive, and everything else that's on Star Trek and all the technology they talk about. They're actually based on technologies as well. Other technologies, so films uh, with technology and that we can accept is for example virtual reality, that uh, we will accept virtual reality as our kind of recreation because life is so bad on the outside, we gain happiness in virtual reality. So for example, Ready Player One, that's a recent one, and Ender's Game, another recent one. So kids are more likely to accept this when it comes along being chipped and controlled microchips, um, a film with Justin Timberlake in it, In Time. Uh, that's an interesting one to watch. That was very interesting indeed uh, on how we very are dependent with our lives on this kind of clock thing that's in a, in a way microchipping. Apocalypse movies such as 2012 so that we will fear certain outcomes and give our power away, especially about uh, positive events like 2012 and the energetic change there. It had a very negative energetic slant put on it because the media turned it into a negative event where the world might end. 
and then disinformation movies like The Martian, where it shows Mars to be barren, no one there, but indeed it's said, and my intuition agrees, that it's actually populated there with people being made to work and it's very industrialized apparently. So the upshot of all this is, is that we need to be aware of what's in these movies and TV series and not just be watching them blindly, soaking them up, allowing them to program our subconscious for those five reasons I mentioned, not allow ourselves to be desensitized, not allow ourselves to accept and expect these things when they come along and worst of all not to manifest it because if we're expecting it and we sort of imagine it's coming then that's what will manifest so don't buy into it make your own futures take those movies with a pinch of salt or don't watch them at all Imagine your own way forward, a beautiful, thriving earth with the quality and where resources are managed fairly and safely for the earth, environmentally. And it's important not to consent to any of this. You can say to yourself, this is not my reality, or this is not reality, and imagine your own. So that's been five reasons plus examples of why they program us through movies and series. I hope that's been helpful to you today. Again, not to scare you, but to help you to manifest a new future. I don't usually like putting out things of a negative nature on this channel, but sometimes I just want to give you a heads up that certain things are happening so that you can swerve and avoid them and create your own way forward, a better future for us all. So please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. You get an additional video per week and it helps to support this channel. And remember to click subscribe and that bell button too for notifications because we're raising the mass vibration together. So go now in love and peace.